The question that Hari Ramachandra has is about gold, because he's been looking into Redalio, and if you don't know Redalio, he is a very famous uh, head fund manager. He is the head of Bridgewater, and he is really a billionaire. I mean, he's a really, really smart guy. And what Redalio has been talking about is that you should actually include gold in your portfolio. And of course, uh, Harry has also been looking into this, so he has been asking me. So, what is my opinion on including gold? Um, and it, it's actually a really interesting question because Redalio he really believes that you should invest in gold, and then you have him on on one hand. On the other hand, you have someone like Warren Buffett and his business partner Charlie Munger, and both of them really don't like gold. So, what should you do? Because you know clearly, uh, both Redalio and Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. Uh, really smart people. So who should you listen to? Uh, they can't both be wrong. First of all, let's look at what is gold really. And very, very often you would see gold as a protection against inflation. Uh, and you know, at least my opinion, that that's a very neat way of looking at it. And you could, might also see it as an another type of cash. And the way you can look at this is that. The problem with cash is that uh, you can always print more. So if the government has a lot of debt and they need to pay interest, they actually have the opportunity to print more money and, and pay some of the debt um, doing that. Clearly, they have some other implications, some other problems. But in general terms, uh, money is definitely not um, you know a final number. You can always print more. Um, this is very different with gold. When you have gold, you have a somewhat limited number. And for that reason, it is also a protection against inflation. What Red Dalio is saying is that gold is a form of diversification. So you would have a scenario where uh, stocks, you know, might be slightly overvalued, and at least in my opinion, we have something like uh, bonds that are uh, overvalued, and we have really low interest rates, so it might not be interesting uh, at all. So the question is, should we include that in our portfolio? And what Redalio is saying, he's saying you know something like seven to ten percent. He's not saying that you should invest a lot of money in gold. He's asking should I invest some of my portfolio in gold, and, and that's also what Haru is uh, was talking about. Now, if we look at the performance here, if we look at the performance from 1900 to 2000, um, you know clearly, you know this is a very obvious choice. Uh, should we invest in gold or should we invest in in stocks? And as we can see, gold has you know, even though it might seem reasonable to increase from twenty to to four hundred, you know, comparing to to stocks, it's really been nothing. And and if I might add, when it comes to stocks, you know, this also, uh, this number actually does not include dividends. If you include dividends, it actually uh, sh shows that the stocks are even more interesting. So this is really the explanation why uh, Warren Buffett uh, is really big on stocks. So, what is my opinion? Well, I'm definitely excited with Warren Buffett and, and Charlie Munger here. I think that in some rare situations, um, it might be a good idea to invest in gold. And I completely buy the argument that Ray Dalio has about um, gold being a scarce research and the situation we're in right now with deleveraging uh, and all the debt that we have. It might be so that since gold is alternative to cash, and since there is definitely a call for cash, uh, or since a call for cash is definitely going to happen if we if we see a crash, uh, then it might be a good investment. Uh, clearly, because well, we have something like bonds and we have something like stocks that might be overvalued would and and won't you know perform that well during a crash. But in general terms, for most investors, and that includes myself, I think that you should you should stay away from gold. Um, and and the reason why I think you should stay away from gold is really that it's too hard. In my opinion, it's too hard to figure out when is the time to go into gold, when should you not go into gold. Um, instead, I am much more the long run of buying and holding stocks. And the reason I'm saying this about uh, you know preferring stocks in general is that you can always find macroeconomic indicators that are telling you not to invest in stocks. And it again is not that I don't buy what Redalio is saying. I might put less emphasis on that, and I mean I just want to emphasize again this is completely my personal opinion. 
but you can always find something that is telling you something is going uh, wrong in the world. You should not invest in stocks. You you know you can do that 50 years ago. You could do that yesterday, and you can do that 50 years from now. If you look at the underlying assets, which is gold, or if you look at the underlying assets, which is stocks, you know there is just so much that are working for stocks compared to gold. Uh, basically, what you are at least in the long run, what you're hoping with gold is that someone will come along and pay you a higher price. When you're buying a stock, you're buying real business, and the profit that that business is making is flowing back to you as a as an owner, and that is just a a better area to be in. So really, just to sum up, for 99% of investors, including myself, you should stick to uh, to stocks, and then for 1%, including Redalio, uh, you might be looking into uh, to gold.